everybody. Welcome to Red Tone Studios. I'm Chad Carlson. Today we're going to be building some drum samples with Reaper and the free plug-in Citalia. Citalia? Citatala? Citala? Citala. First we're going to open up a new Reaper session and we're going to record the drums. So here I've loaded a kick front, snare top, snare bottom, hi-hat, rack tom, floor tom, cymbal, overheads left and overheads right. So this comes off of a template that I use here when recording bands. So most of this is already loaded up. All right, I'm gonna record each piece of drums individually. It's recording now in through Reaper. I'm here in my studio. I don't know if you can hear, but it's very reverberant. A lot of echo, we'll see how it goes. We'll start with a kick drum, a D112 there in the front. We'll give it a couple good hits so we can pick the best one. All right, next we'll move on to the snare. Snare has a top mic, SM57, bottom mic, SM57. Now, next we'll move to the hi-hat, also an SM57. But we just want a single hit. We'll take that one. Next, we'll move to the toms, SM57, tom one. Not really getting one I like. We'll use that. Now, Tom 2, same SM57. That'll work. Floor Tom is just an old SM58. Good there. Now, a crash symbol. I've got two Lewitt match pair 40s up there we'll probably use. I also have a Cascade Fathead up close. That's a good crash. I also have a room mic in the back, my AKG C414. So that's picking up some of the cymbals we'll probably mix in as well. Next up, we'll have the ride. Now I just want to click on the ride. I don't want a big splash. Because this one I think sounds better. So we're just going to click it. But just once. There. That is all the drums. All recorded individually by themselves. Let ring out. Now we'll move back into the computer and start making uh, some drum samples. So what you want to do is find and listen to your recordings and try to find the best hit or kick that you have. And I like that third one the best. So we'll zoom on in. One, two, three. We'll highlight it. You don't have to be all that careful about finding the very front. And then just come up and hit render. Now I can't render right now because I'm recording, but that is not a problem. You'll hit render. Now I've got, I am also rendering all of my effects. On this kick, I've got a little bit of EQ and that is about it. But then I've also, I'm also recording not only the kick track, but I'm recording all of the tracks, including a room mic. This is gonna give more of a room in the room um, type sample instead of a very dry sample. If you wanted a dry sample, then you could easily solo it, turn off any effects, and you'll have a very dry, straight to mic type signal. But here I'm trying to do in the room with the room reverb so that I can take these samples and dump them straight into, say, a project where I needed an extra hit or my drumming was so sloppy, which always happens, that I just wanted to program the drums 
and have it sound like it's my drum set. Then we just continue along. Here you can find the snare. We've got some hi-hats. So you just pick one or do the single one. Again, highlight the whole group. Render just that section. Toms, pick the best ones and go through and do them all. So now I'll come up to some program mini drums on this track. Open up our effects. We'll go to the Satala Decomposer. Here it's already loaded with a clean 808. Turn the volume down and you can listen to that. This comes, I believe, with the plugin. Very electronic. So we're going to take this out and put in our newly made samples. So just come down here to new kit, change kit, and now we just want to load the samples. Samples were into their own folder. I had, uh, I tried this yesterday, very dry, very close mic sound, but today we are going to load the stuff we just recorded. So put the kick in number one, snare, I believe in number three, um, tom one and eight, um, two, ten, yeah, whatever, in there. Um, the hi-hat is going to go in seven, I believe. <clears throat> seven, I believe. The crash, I think, goes in 13. There is no ride in this program, but we'll throw it in anyways. And there you have it. I mean, now you can hit play. Turn it up so you guys can hear it. Those are our samples. And now you can adjust, you know, pick the kick, you can adjust the shape, the tuning, you know, whatever, whatever you need to do and adjust it that way. I think you can route these to separate tracks if you want to process them separately. But it doesn't sound that bad. Much better drumming than I can do. So I loaded these earlier and um, messed with the settings. So you can see kind of the, what I would say is a finished product. You guys <laughs> might not think so, but here we go. I'd say it's pretty convincing. So there you have it. That's how to make your own drum samples using Reaper and Satala. Very easy process. It took me, you know, you pretty much saw it. Less than 20 minutes to really do the whole thing. Adjusting and, and whatever you need to do might take a little bit longer. If you want to spend more time getting your mics just perfect on the drums so you get that great sound. But overall, I, uh, I really like it. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Hit the thumbs up button. And definitely uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have already. Hit subscribe. Yeah, let me know.